Greetings, I'm Charles, I'm 55 years old, I'm 6'1", when I'm fully assembled, and I weigh about 230 pounds. Today I'm going to talk about learning to walk. Um, now I had a peculiar situation in that after I had this above the knee amputation, I was told that I was, um, uh, oh, I forgot what the technical term is now, but that I could get along pretty well. They did not suggest any kind of physical therapy, so I was not given any kind of uh, physical therapy after this above the knee amputation. Uh, fortunately, the prosthetic people that I work with, the people that do the prosthesis for me, and who had worked on this one, this side for several years, it's a hanger clinic actually, they have a program to try to help people out in a situation where like mine, they didn't have, uh, probably insurance wasn't going to pay, that's probably why they didn't suggest. That's what happens when you have government insurance. In any case, uh, but the Hanger Clinic had a program and there was a, a couple of hours of uh, rehabilitation training that they provided to their people. And uh, so, what uh, I couldn't figure this out. I couldn't figure out how to learn to walk once I got hooked up with just my two hours of uh, training, they showed me a couple of things and made this a heck of a lot easier. I'm still not walking like a normal person by any stretch of the imagination, but I'll get there. I just wanted to show you a couple of things that was shown to me that had not been ever been shown to me. I suggest if you're doing uh, rehab now, you go, you know, do, of course, do whatever they're telling you to. but. This is what was shown to me. It didn't matter how many videos I looked at, there was one thing I couldn't figure out. I couldn't figure out how to lock this knee up. So, what this fella did was, well of course I was in a little rehab facility place when I was doing this a uh, couple hours, and they had parallel bars. They didn't have a walker. I don't have parallel bars at home, so I'm gonna be using this walker instead to demonstrate. So I'm um, with the parallel bars, holding on to the parallel bars, and what this guy did was is he drew a, uh, a cootie or a big bug on the floor. He had steps that were about my stride, and he was saying squash the bug. So it was kind of like heel to toe, but his idea was squash the bug. So heel to toe all, of course, makes sense, which, you know, you want to come out and you want to do the heel, crush the bug, and then you come forward and swing through. Of course, you're on parallel bar, so that makes a difference. <clears throat> and heel to toe all made sense to me. The part that didn't make sense to me was how to lock this knee. Now, I just did lock the knee, but that's because I figured it out. You have to do something that is mentally wrong to be able to lock this knee. In real life, if I still had a leg there, that would be a hyperextension, and it would be very painful. So when I first learned to walk, I had to consciously act like I was hyperextending that knee, which I don't have. It's a mechanical knee. That's, of course, why it doesn't hurt now, but that's what it takes to lock it. So I go heel to toe, squash the bug, and there's a hyperextension on that knee. Of course, that would hurt if it was a real knee, but it's not a real knee, so it doesn't hurt. So I can walk on through that. And that's uh, my first thing that helped me learn how to walk.